Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and today I wanted to share with you the page that we will be creating at my crop in September. Um, a lot of you are not local to me, but I wanted to share this project with you um, so you can create it at home. So I took the Gnomes for Autumn Thin Cut and you can check out my video where I put her together and I just cut the pieces and um, she will be going as on my page as like a main focus and I also cut out a couple more of the sun flowers to add and then another stem and I cut off the little um, that part right there so I can just use it kind of as a curly cue um, for my flowers and then everybody at my crop is getting a package of these wood grain titles so we're going to be using those and also um, some strips of paper from the oh goodness the good life I believe is the paper packet it's a new one so I haven't really <laughs> I, I don't remember exactly but I believe that's what it's called and then coordinating cardstock um, harbor and mist and some mocha so let's go ahead and get started okay so I'm using the mist as my base and then I'm gonna go ahead and add these strips of pattern paper on either side uh, there is the dot pattern on the back but I use that on her outfit so I just want to use the stripes and I'm going to put um, a stripe on the left hand side and on the right hand side it's a very simple and easy layout to put together um, with any paper um, collection that you have. Um, but I wanted to feature this cute, this a cute, adorable gnome on this page, so it works out really great. Okay, so I have those two. And then I have Harbor. And I chose these colors because they are actually coordinating to the pattern paper. And how I know that is each pattern paper has a zip strip that tells you what coordinates and also Close to My Heart is cool enough that they include it in our idea books and also online you can check out what colors coordinate so it takes a lot of guesswork out of it for me. Okay so there's the base of it and then I'm going to bring in some mocha as um, photo placemats so or photo mats <laughs> not placemats <laughs> and I think I'm gonna line them up just like that so there's a nice spot right here and a nice spot right here for some accents so I'm gonna go ahead and add those I'm just going to space them out the best I can probably about fourth of an inch from the top and a fourth from the side or the side of the harbor I guess and line this one up the same and then this one as well okay so I'm going to quickly add some photo placeholders because I don't have my photos quite yet so this will hold a three by four and as long and this one up here also will do a three by four and then this one in the middle will do a four by six. Okay, so now we have our adorable little gnome. She's going to go down here, kind of overlapping this um, photo a little bit. You can pop her up with 3D foam if you'd like. I'm just going to add her to my page right there. And then now we have this up here. So what I did was I took a piece of harbor and dovetailed each end. And how I dovetail is I just snip up the center and then from each corner I just meet up the middle. So that is how I dovetail that. And let's see, make sure I get the right side. Is there a light and a dark side? Yes, so here's the light side. And I'm going to add that up here and overlapping my photo so about a half inch down from the top and then this is where I'm going to add my title from the die cut titles I've or I tried a couple different ones 
um, maybe it'll be easier to see this way. So there's like the best uh, memories, days, life, sweet, enjoy. Um, I tried days and I decided I liked the happy better. So I already punched that out and I'm going to lay those down there. Just like that. And then everyone in their package will get this title as well. And I cut this from a Cricut. Um, well, I'm just using my Cricut and um, the fonts that I had. So that will be Happy Fall. And I think I need to actually add these first. So these sunflowers. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more color to the sunflower using some Sundance ink and a sponge. And I use these on um, the gnome already. So I'm going to just sponge a little more ink to bring out those edges of the sunflower. And just using the sponge, there's, our, there's um, ink blenders and all kinds of things you can use. I just went with the good old yellow sponge to add some more color to that. Okay, so now let's kind of put these um, over here and place them and see how I like them. Um, and then let's add the centers. That will probably help me decide where I want those. And these centers, the die cut cuts these adorable, like, um, I don't know, the inside of the sunflower, those little squares, so cute. Okay, so I think that will work like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add these. Again, you can add some 3D foam if you'd like. I'm just going to add it straight to my project. And then I have this little stem that I cut um, just to match this little bottom area. And I'm going to just slide that underneath this sunflower so it kind of sticks out a little bit. A little curly cue in there. And then I can add, oh, see, that will be cute with the F over K. So that's what we're going to do. And so I'm going to add these letters. And they actually came from a Close My Heart Cricut collection. I want to say it was. Um, artistry. Um, I just went into the Cricut design space and pulled up the letters and just picked the ones I thought were cute. So that's how we got those. Okay. And add our last L. And now we can add these chipboard. They are pretty thin, but I think um, Let's use some liquid glue on these guys. They're really thin, so I'm just gonna dot a little liquid glue on there. I probably should get my um, what are they? Tweezers. They'd probably be helpful on this one. And just add happy. And then I have all of those other titles I can use on different layouts or cards depending on your project and that will the glue will um, dry clear so I'm not too worried about that white showing through and then one more All right, there we go. This is the page that um, the ladies will be doing at my um, crop in September. Um, and with this adorable little gnome, the sunflowers, and this, um, oh, I can't remember the collection. <laughs> the Good Life collection. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, on, I would love a nice comment and let me know what you think of this layout. And also, or this page, sorry, it's not a layout. And um, 
make sure and hit, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.